Am I filming? Oh. Okay, hi everybody. Uh, I promised you a Lego tutorial on the cane slicer that I made. Um, and uh, yeah, I just tried to go through and find as many cohesive parts as I could. Don't have all the same parts and I really didn't want to spend too much time looking through this big box. So um, hopefully you'll get and understand everything. If you have any questions at the end, just comment um, and I will be sure to answer them. So what you want to start with is a base like this. It's a um, eight wide by 16 long, I think. Four, eight, yeah, it was 16 long, eight wide, 16 long. Okay, and then you need to build up the sides because you want the, the whole base of it to be a little bit wider. So I just took pieces like this. These are called blocks. Um, these are called um, tiles. No, these are called tiles. These are called blocks and these are called, I forget right now. I don't have my list in front of me. Anyways, I'm not a Lego pro, so I don't really have a clue what I'm actually doing. So um, then I went like this. Okay, so I have all my parts there and then I'm just gonna add these pieces here. This is your four by 16, no, four, eight, 12, four by 12 and just come across. Mainly you just need to have a good base to build everything on. And this is how I did it. You can use any combination of pieces and numbers wide. If you make large canes, make this wider, make it bigger. Um, the most important part is just knowing what I did in this slicer area. That's really all you need to know. Uh, the rest of it's pretty, pretty easy to figure out. So then on the front part, I take these guys. This is just two regular two by eights or two by four blocks. And I put those there. These are going to be there to support your, your towers that you're going to use your slicer in or your tissue blade. Um, I like, I found as many flat pieces like this as I could just to finish it off in the end. So like I, I stole these pieces from my cutter because these are the only ones that I didn't glue down because I couldn't find enough for this project. So um, if you don't have the flat pieces, you don't need them. It's not a big deal. It's just more of a, fit, a preference for finishing a look. Then you want to take these guys, your flat tiles from the list and just put them in. This is where your cane will go. Um, I liked using the lighter colors so that my, if I'm using mylar and a little guide or whatever, I'm pushing them through, I can see pretty easily. I think dark, like if I used black, it would make it really shadowy down in there, but I don't know, it's, you know, you'll have to play around with it and see what works best for you. Um, on these parts then, this is really important here. You wanna put these guys out here Okay, because this is where you're gonna put your little slicer towers. And these towers are a one by two by four of like these little guys. So if I had, you know, four of these stacked on top of each other, if you don't have these kind of towel towers, this would be the same exact thing. And you could totally use this, no problem. Um, actually, it looks like five, it would be five of those. Anyway, so you just put these down. The main thing you need to know about these is if you leave them as they are from the Lego company, they are too close together when they're sitting here. So I took off these, and this is where the sandpaper comes in, and I just sanded it down until there was enough width between the two to be able to put my blade in and not have too much room for the blade to wobble when I'm going to cut. So you don't want too much room, but you want, you know, you want it to be nice and smooth. But if I try to put my blade in like this, it's just not, I mean, it'll work, but it doesn't, once you're, once you secure the top, it's almost impossible to um, get it to move up and down freely because all these other parts, um, and you don't, you know, you can try it without doing that, but I just wanted something that was going to be really smooth and easy to maneuver. So that's why, like I said, you sand the face of this, you know, I mean, I'm doing it very light and not really doing it. So sand it enough to get your blade through and then just put the part that you sanded towards the inside. That's the most important part so that you can, when you go to put your top pieces on, everything lines up still. 
All right, so back to what we were doing. We're gonna take these guys, we'll put these guys in here. And then I'm gonna put this little guy back here. Okay, and then I'm gonna start building up the inside walls. So I'm um, just right here I used um, on mine because I couldn't at the time, I was just using my son's box and then I found another box and there was other pieces. So I could have made it a little different, but regardless, these are all just little skinny pieces like this stacked on top of each other. So, but if you have regular blocks like this in um, a, a two by eight, that'll work great too. So just push those down. <clears throat> and then I did these guys. This is just three uh, two by fours on top of each other. And three more two by fours on top of each other like this. And then we need um, these little guys are gonna go on top of here because I wanted height. That's the main reason why I'm building this up so tall is because I wanted to be able to have enough height to put my cane in and not, um, and have enough support. So that's why I did it. You don't have to build it up this high. This is just what I did, so. Hopefully, I'm not going too fast. I didn't want to make an hour long video. So hopefully this will all make sense to you. Legos are pretty easy once you start playing with them. They're pretty, you know, friendly and easy to mess around with. So um, then on the back, let's see, I went here on the sides just to build up some more support on these walls. And then I used just little guys, thin guys again, because I didn't have any other parts that I wanted. And I put these right back here just to finish it off. And again, um, all of the, all of these parts I have over here, I have covered in these smooth flat pieces. So like for the top here, um, you know, and again, once this is sanded, once this, once your little tower is sanded, you'll be able to slide this in but as it is right now if i put my blade in here and then i put this guy down and this guy down to secure it it's it's not gonna i mean you really have to work hard at it especially once you get these other two pieces in there so now it's like i mean it'll work but I just sanded it because I think it I think it just worked better for me. Anyways, then I just finished it off like this, and that is it. That's it. You're done. So any questions, just let me know in the comments. Um, like I said, there's a list of the amount of parts that I used, but you can use any combination of this. I hope this helps. Have a great day.